All right, everyone. It's another month. So here are the games that were completed by myself in October. We start out on the second with Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, this was the 360 version of San Andreas. And ooh, what is there to say about that at this point? Uh, arguably the best GTA they ever made. Not my personal favorite, but I, I hear a lot of cases for it. It's CJ and a bunch of references to Boys in the Hood and other early 90s movies. It, uh, honestly, is a pretty good game, but I think it starts to kind of, it, it sags in the middle. Once you leave uh, Los Santos at the beginning and you're wandering the, uh, the countryside and every mission involves like 15 minutes of driving just to get to it, it's, uh, that, that's, that's a really, that's a hurdle to overcome. Because, you know, once you get to San Fierro, the game picks back up again and stays pretty good. But you have this, hmm, this section there that takes, I don't know how many missions it is, maybe six or seven missions there you have to do. And they just drag. But overall, it's a very good game, and I shouldn't hold that against it. Uh, then on the fourth, Dark Souls Remastered. Now, anyone who knows me knows I love me some Dark Souls. And uh, I do think the first Dark Souls might be the best one in the series. Uh, and this, of course, is just a graphical update of the original. Brought to your modern hardware. And, ooh, don't know if I already mentioned it, but it was the PS4 version. Found it on clearance. Lucky me. And, you know, anyone who watches this channel knows, I uh, posted a video of me doing all the bosses. Yeah, I did a mostly caster run on that, so it was pretty quick. And some people bitch, like, oh, you're just cheesing the boss fight. Well, yeah, fuck you, I'm having a good time. Then we have a big jump here to the 16th. Where I beat Mega Man 11 on PS4. And while I did beat that, I didn't enjoy it that much. Like, compared to your early Mega Mans, like, this one pulls far worse, like, 8 bit gotcha gameplay than any of the first six Mega Men did. Mega Men? Mega Mans? Not really sure how you're supposed to pluralize that, but I'm getting off topic. You know, there were aspects of it I enjoyed, and certainly some modern conveniences they added. You know, your your R and L switching of weapons, but overall, I don't really recommend Mega Man 11. I think it was a uh, bad offshoot in just the wrong direction. And that was also for PS4, if I didn't already mention it. Where is my head today? Uh, then on the 18th, I beat Link to the Past. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. More the Super Nintendo. Whew. Probably my second favorite Zelda of all time. And uh, it was quick. You know, I remember as a kid when I first got that, I got that for my birthday one year. And I remember playing it for like two months straight because I just trying to find every secret and like figuring out puzzles and I was a kid at the time and now like I finished that on the 18th and I think I started it on like I don't know like, like maybe the 15th like it did not take much time then on the 19th finally Finally, finished Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for the Switch. Oh my god. The, the actual, like, end play time on that was 180 hours. Good lord. 
long game. Though some of that was me just doing side quests and like being way over leveled by the time I progressed the story. Because, you know, that's kind of how I do it. I like to see how many side quests I can do. So be prepared for the next part of the game. And I'm not complaining, because, yeah, that game I've mentioned in, like, what I'm working on for the last three months. And, yeah, it's a good game. I enjoyed it. I don't believe I'll play it again anytime soon. Like, one day I'll probably go back to it, because I think there's a New Game Plus option in there. But, mm, for the time being, I think, uh, I think I've gone far enough. Then, on the 25th, finished another volume of Pick Cross E, this time Pick Cross E6. Don't have a lot to say about this, because, you know, we've done a, another five of those games, and they're all the same kind of gameplay, where you're filling in puzzles, uh, making pixel art, and I like those games a lot, but they're just very boring to talk about. Then finally, for the month, on the 29th, I beat the game Minute, which was a wonderful, short, little black and white game. I played it on the Xbox, though it, there's versions of that on everything, from my understanding. It's kind of a Zelda-like, and the hook is that you die literally every 60 seconds. So anything you accomplish, you have to do very quickly. And there's a few different spots you can get to, and if you get to them, you can respawn there. It's, it was a fun game, a nice novelty, but, you know, once you played through it, I don't think it has much to offer in terms of replay value, because you... because everything in it has to be short enough that you can accomplish it in a minute. So, it sort of limits limits its value, or uh, limits, not not value, but limits how much it can really hold your attention, in my opinion. But it was interesting, and I wouldn't mind, you know, a, a follow-up to it in some form. And, uh, well, that was it for October. Uh, you might ask what, what I got on the horizon for next month. Well, uh, on the Switch, I'm playing through uh, Seiken Densetsu 3, aka Trials of Mana, on the Switch, because I got the collection of mana. Uh, on the PS4, I'm kind of picking at playing uh, Just Cause 4, because I found that on clearance, like the, uh, the deluxe version with the uh, Season Pass. It, I, I've only played a little bit of it, I could already tell it's not as good as Just Cause 3. <laughs> So I might not continue playing. <laughs> but at some point I need to do a video of games that I just sort of gave up on this year. But, yeah. Uh, idea for another day. On the Xbox, got a few different things I could be playing. You know, I got the season pass for Resident Evil 7 I need to kind of explore. I picked up Witcher 3 Game of the Year Edition on Xbox. Like, I could play that. But I know that's another really long game, and I don't think I want to bite off another hugely long game right at the moment. I'm still kind of recovering from Xenogear, or Xenoblade, rather. Uh, oh, on PC, I'm playing The Outer World, so next month, you can, that, that will probably make the list somewhere. <laughs> oh, boy. Outer Worlds is, is an amazing game. It's everything Fallout 4 should have been. And uh, ooh, As much as I love Dark Souls, the people who know me know I love the Fallout universe even more. And yeah, Outer Worlds is technically not set in the Fallout universe, but it is very similar to New Vegas in like a lot of important ways. So, But anyway, that was this month, and that's what's currently going on. Hope you enjoyed it.